Hi, I'm Larry Mestinek, and I'd like to show you one of the products that we have designed to help very young children develop memory skills. Now, normally we think of memory when we get to school and we have to memorize long lists of spelling words or sequences of numbers, but actually memory training is very important in the early years. Now, memory is not all of intelligence. There are many different kinds of intelligence but memory is the basis of intelligence. Just briefly, I'd like you to see this is a picture of a brain cell. Now when a child is born, the child is born with all of the brain cells that he or she will ever have. But what does not exist are these extensions from the cell which we call dendrites. As the brain cells are stimulated by the environment, the cell begins to grow the dendrites, and this is where information is stored. The information can go along the axon all the way to the next cell. And the more repetitive you are with learning memory, the stronger the axon becomes and the more dense the dendrites become. And then that information, when the next cell is connected to it, that information passes from one cell to the next. This is how we transfer information. And as the child is stimulated more and more, you can see this is an actual photographic image of the growth of dendrites. This is a child at birth, then at three months, five, 15 months, and then three years. So it shows that with the stimulation from the environment, the brain begins to grow. And this is an image of a single cell showing how dense the dendrites can actually become with more and more stimulation. So with that in mind, we developed a product which, like all of our products, is a play toy. And the purpose of that is to bring the child into the activity by play, but in the meantime accomplishing the learning goals that we've set out to do. This product we call Memory Circles and it consists of four circles of different color and shape and they fit in the recesses like a normal puzzle. However, underneath each of the puzzles is a space and into this space we can place objects for the child to remember. Now we provide just a simple set of animal figures with faces and the idea is for the child to look at the objects study where it is and then put the shapes back in position and then try to remember where each object is. So you would ask the child, where is the rabbit? Is it here? There it is. Where is the mouse? The child might miss, say it's not there. We'll look here. There's the mouse. So by this very simple start, the child can begin to take information in and store it and retrieve it. That's why memory is the basis of intelligence, because if we can't recall information, then it's of no use to us. Now, like all of the TAG products, the, the exercises go from simple to more and more complex in order to develop the, the ability further. So the child would first start just by trying to remember where an object is. The next level of difficulty would be the relationship between objects. For example, what is next to the rabbit? It's the cat. What is next to the, to the mouse? It's the, it's the pig or the cat. So instead of remembering where one object is, the child then has to begin to form a pattern what object is where in relation to another object. To move up to the next level of difficulty, you would ask the child to name the objects in counterclockwise motion or clockwise motion, either way, back and forth. Try to encourage the child to remember all of the items, each one in its position. Now the next level of difficulty would be to turn this so that now the pattern that the child remembers is still there, but it's in a different orientation. 
So the child still has to remember the sequence, but with the pattern being changed. Now the next thing we like to encourage the parents to do with this product is to use common objects around the house. For example, you could take a cookie. Here's a, a candle. And here's some broccoli. Just kidding about the broccoli. But I bet you if you put that in there, the child would remember exactly where it is, but would not remember. So let's take here a shell. And a key. These are common objects that you can find around the house. And the whole idea of this is to teach vocabulary. So you want to, you find yourself often repeating to a child, this is a spoon, this is a fork. The same thing here. What is this? It's a cookie. They're learning the words. What is this? This is a candle. And this, teaching them the name, a shell. And here, a key. And then, try to have the child remember the relationship of where they are by memory with the same process, one at a time. Where's the cookie? Where's the candle? And then, what's next to the key? It's the shell, or it could be the cookie. And then, once again, turning this makes this a little more difficult. Here's the shell, now go in this direction and, and tell me what is in there and then go back in this direction. Now, many adults looking at this will say, gee, that's pretty hard, I don't even think I could do that. But if you practice, you would be able to do it. And this is the same with the child. At first, it will be difficult to remember, but after re repetition, which is the basis of memory, repetition and practice, the child will begin to develop memory at an early age. And this is extremely important, and this is the purpose of this particular product. As mentioned uh, before, we have instruction sheets that go with each one of our products. The instruction sheet tells step by step how to use the product, and then it also outlines the learning goals. In this case, it would be some basic motor skills in placing and removing the shape. It would be learning vocabulary words, and it would be able to uh, teach how to remember units of information individually or in patterns and relationships. You can find this product on our website, tagtoys.com, and if you click on the category memory, you will see some of the many other products that we've developed to help children develop memory.